In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about binary arithmetic and its practical uses in Arduino. We're going to learn how to set and store the state of 8 LEDs, learn less known commands in Arduino like bit set, bit clear, and other really cool bit functions. And last and not least, we're going to learn about port manipulation. Before we move on, let's talk about the setup really quick. We got 8 LEDs that are connected to pin 0 through pin 7, so 0, 1 and so on forward. Uh, why is that important? We'll talk about it when we get to port manipulation. Now let's go see some code. If you find the video useful, please share and like it and subscribe to my channel. Here is the code and let's go over it really quick. In the void setup, what I do is I loop uh, on i between 0 and less than 8, which is 7, and I declare all the pins from 0 to 7 as an output. Pretty simple. Then I loop again, and then the first thing I do is I set each leg, counting from 0 until 7, to high. This is what makes all the LEDs turn on. I do a 100 millisecond delay between them, and when I'm done with this loop, with this loop I'm doing a second loop, which does the same thing, just turn them off. Okay, and now let's say I wouldn't, I would like to have one place to do the actual adjustment of the LED state, meaning turning them on and off. So what I did here is that I have an array of booleans that keeps all the states between zero, uh, states either zero for low or one for high. And then instead of just setting the, the digital pin, what I'll do is I'll set its state and I'll call the adjustment function. Okay, same goes for here, and set it as low, and we don't need a digital write. Let's move it up here, and let's go see what adjustment state does. And here is adjustment state. What adjustment state does, let me un uncomment this one, is looping between 0 and 1 and adjust all the LEDs. I admit that this code right now doesn't make any sense. It's doing things, it's looping again and again, but think about it as a system that you have other functions that switch one or two LEDs off and then you want them to be adjusted in one set. And I'm just building this up because I'm going to change it and I'm going to use some other stuff. It's just the basic. So bear with me for this. So now let's upload this code and see if it gives us the same result. And as you can see, we're getting the same result of the LEDs turning all on and then all off. But let's go back to coding. As I mentioned before, on this tutorial we're going to use binary arithmetic. In order to do so, we need to understand a little bit what binary arithmetic is or what binary is. Binary is a representation of a number by using bits setting them either to 1 or 0. It's, each bit has its own value. And let's take this number, for example. The far most right one is the less significant bit, or LST if you want, and its value will be either 0 or 1, depends on if it's 0 or 1. The second bit, will, if it's 0, will be, of course, 0. If it's 1, the value will be 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. All in total, 8 bit set to 1 will give you a value of 255. Confusing? I'm sure. So let me show you the first uh, bit function that is really nice. So I'm just doing a serial begin here and I'm looping between 0 and 7. And I'm showing you the value of each bit, what will be the actual value if it's set to 1. So let's run this and see what we get. So here is the output, same as I explained before. Bit 0 value is 1, bit 1 value is 2, bit 2 value is 4, and so on. So now let's go see how we can use this to our benefit. I've adjusted the code and I've added um, a printout of the binary value. First we're printing it out as decimal. When you're doing this print LAN and you're putting a value and a comma and DEC, that will print out this value as a decimal value. Uh, as you can see here, I'm printing it as bin, which is a binary value. And let's see what's the difference. Let's open the serial port and see the difference. 
And here is the output. You can see decimal value is 255 and the binary representation is 8 ones or 8 bits set to 1, which is what we expected. Now let's manipulate the data and see what we get. Now let's start manipulating the data. I've added some code and I've added the second function that I'm going to talk about today, which is bit clear. Bit clear will set this bit out of this parameter to zero. Confusing? Let me explain to you with, an, with this value. So bit zero is the far right bit and it will be set to zero since we are clearing it. And when printing it here, I'm expecting to get 254 as a decimal and the binary representation will be seven ones and a zero in the end. Now let's see what the output shows. Now as expected, the value before is 255 and the representation is eight ones in a row. And after the change, we get 254 since we set this bit to zero and the value of this bit is one. So we have one less in here, which is 254 and we got seven bits that are still set to one. So let's do something more complicated than this. So I added three more lines of code, um, clearing bit three, five and six, meaning that bit zero will be cleared and then bit three will be cleared and bit five and six. And let's upload and see what the result we're getting. And here is the result. As you can see, bit zero, bit three, bit five and six were cleared. The decimal value is 150 because it's two, four, 16 and 128, which total in 150. Now let's go see some other uh, bit functions. Here are a few more functions I'm going to talk about. The first one is bit set. Same as bit clear will clear this bit out of this value, bit set will set this bit to one on this value. Meaning that here we're clearing it and here we're setting it back. Doesn't make any sense, I know, I'm just giving you an example. Another important function is bit write. Bit write allows us to write a value to the bit, unlike bit set, which is always set it to one, and bit clear that always set it to zero. Here we have the option to either set it to zero or set it to one. Um, in this example, after we clear the six and we set it back, and we're basically clearing here number two, we're gonna see the value. Another important, another important function is the bit read. The bit read reads the value of this bit out of this value. So now let's upload and see the actual result. So as you can see, we uh, we have results here and you can see bit zero is zero, bit one is one, bit two is zero, bit three is zero, bit four is set to one, bit five is zero, bit six is one and bit seven is one. Great. Now let's take this and apply it to our previous examples with a lead and see how we can use it. So I took everything we learned in the previous example and I applied it on this one. And let's see the changes. So instead of using a boolean of uh, and a boolean array of eight, I'm using just a byte at called let state. This haven't changed. We're setting it as output in here. Instead of setting the let state i, meaning the 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 object within the array, I'm setting the bit inside of let state. The same here, I'm clearing it. And in here, instead of instead of using the let set, I'm reading the state of that specific bit. And let's see if it gives us the same result as the previous example. And as you can see, it's the same result. But you might say, well, we got all through this effort just to do the same thing with a bit. Well, let me show you what are the advantages are. The first major difference is that instead of using an array of eight bytes, Boolean is a byte, of eight bytes, I'm using only one byte. So I just saved seven bytes. And when you program and you get a lot of variables and, and you're running low memory, this is really important. The second thing has to do with what I mentioned earlier, which is the port manipulation. 
In order to explain that, let me show you the port definition in Arduino Uno and we'll go over it and I'll show you the change. One of the things that Arduino does is kind of hides the uh, underlaying of, of what happens in the actual microcontroller. Um, when you do digital write, for example, it's actually changing some register on, on, on the port itself. And, and let's see this. We got three ports on a Uno, which is the B, C, and D. B is digital pin 8 to 13, C is the analog input pins, and the D is digital pin 0 to 7. Remember I told you 0 to 7? This is the reason. Now there's few major registers that are important. This one, the DDRD, is the direction register, which means if, if it's an input or an output. If it's 0, it will be an input. If it's 1, it will be an output. The port D, it allows you to set the value if it's an output, set the value. And pin D is the input pin register. And all of them are 8-byte register, and, and in order to use them, we can manipulate them and so on. Now let me show you an example, because what I said is, I'm sure it's not that clear. So if the DDRD is set this way, the pins 1 to 7 will be set as an output and pin 0 will be set as an input. Remember, the far right one is the 0. So if it's 0, it's set as an input and all pins 1 through 7 will be outputs. And, DDR, and, and then you can manipulate them. And you can also do port D equals and then you can see it's a, doing a binary so setting digital pin 7 3 7 5 and 3 to high as you can see 7 5 and 3 are set to high so now let's take this and apply it to our example okay so i've replaced the uh, pin mode output by just writing directly to the register and setting them all as Outputs. That's the first change I've made. And the second change, which is the more important one, is I'm just setting port D to the LED state, meaning I'm just, I don't even have to loop, I'm just setting whatever is in LED state to port D. How elegant is that? Cutting all the lines into something that small. So now let's upload and see if we get the same result. Hooray, it's working. Same result, less lines. Less use of memory, great. Now let's talk a little bit more about um, binary arithmetic, and now it's actually represented in the real world. In this segment, I'm going to go over the basics of bit manipulation of uh, binary arithmetic, and the reason I'm not going into depth because it's it's going to need at least two three videos just for that. But I want to go over it briefly so I can explain to you what bit set and bit clear does. So we got the uh, bitwise AND. So if you have 0 and 0, you will get 0, 0 and 1, you get 0, 1 and 0, you get 0, and only when 1 and 1, you will get 1. This is the bitwise AND. We scroll here, the bitwise OR does. If you have two zeros, you'll get 0. If either one of them or both of them are 1, you're going to get 1. The score does. Uh, if you only have one of them is one, you're going to get one. So if both of them are one, you're going to get zero. And if both of them are zero, you're going to get zero. And the bitwise not, which is a really important as well, takes the value and basically flips it. So you can see whatever was one is zero here, and whatever is zero is one here. And another really important thing is the shift operator, which is allows us to shift things. So shift things from left to right. So you can see here the value is five. So you get one, zero, one. And then if we shift it three steps to the left, you're going to get zero, 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 and then the one, zero, one. I know it's not clear. It's just the, the tip of the, of the iceberg. But it's enough to show you uh, the explanation of how bit set and bit clear are done. So back to code. I defined here two functions, and I'll do my best to explain to them, and I'll show you the output of it of the the code that will be make it much easier to understand. The bit set. What does the bit set does? We're sending two um, uh, parameters in 
A, which is the value we want to do the, the arithmetic on, and B is which of the bits we want to set. So what we do is we shift one B steps to the left, creating a new number, a new byte number here, and then we do an OR between those two numbers. Again, I'll show you the example output and it'll be much easier to understand. The bit clear, what it does, it shifts shifts one B steps to the left and then does a not, meaning reversing the, the actual output and doing an AND. And again, let me show you the output of all the code that I wrote here. I'm not going to go over it, it's just an output of what it's actually done. It'll be much easier to explain showing the output. And here is the output and let's go over it so we can try and understand it. This segment talks about the setting of the of the zero bit. So what we do is we move one zero steps to the left, we'll get one. Doing an OR on the original value which is zero will end up in one. And the reason for that as we said before, if either of the of the sides of the, the binary arithmetic is one on OR, we're gonna get one. Same goes if we move it one step to the left, we're going to get zero, 01 and the original value is 10. It's actually 1, but it's just easier to represent it. So you can see since here we got 1 and here we got 1, the result will be 1 and 1, and so on. If we move 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, ending up with this value. Now let's talk about bit clear, how bit clear does it. So bit clear, what it does, it moves uh, 1 zero steps and then does the nut on it so the first step this will end up in one zero 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 and doing a nut will actually reverse it to having one 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 and zero and then doing an end will end result of as we said end will only yield one if both of the sides meaning this and this will be one so all of those are one, and all of those are one, ending up in the, all of this being one, but this one is zero, even though this one is one, we still get and get zero since we got a zero here, and not both of them, not and not both of them are one. Same goes to here, and this is the original value from here, and you can see we're clearing this bit, and so on until we get back to zero. I hope that was clear. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment.